A moon, by definition, is a natural satellite of a planet. However, there is only one moon in the universe that is important enough to be called THE moon. It is the only moon in the universe which is not only known to orbit a planet where living things are found, but it is also in many ways directly responsible for those living things existing. This moon, affectionately dubbed Luna, is OUR moon, and despite its beautiful and extremely obvious presence in our sky each night, we know less about it than you might expect. Scientists don't all agree on how the moon was formed, or why its orbit is the way it is. Until 1966, when the Luna 9 probe reached the surface of the moon, scientists were afraid that heavy objects would sink down into the lunar dust and become lost. Naturally, with so many obvious questions and so few answers regarding our planetoid satellite, people, with and without credentials, have come up with some interesting and possibly terrifying theories. These are just some of the theories and stories about the moon. The origin of the moon is usually thought to be that a Mars-sized body struck the Earth. The Mars-sized planet was destroyed and created a debris ring that eventually collected into a single satellite. Another hypothesis that is less popular but equally credible is that the moon is in fact a captured body, an asteroid or planetoid from the asteroid belt that happened to end up close enough to the Earth that it was captured in Earth's gravitational field. This hypothesis is supported by some mainstream scientists, but most still believe the original theory that the moon was formed when another planetary body hit the Earth. There are, however, many more theories about how our moon came to be. Most of these theories are widely discredited by scientists, but it seems like that may be a positive thing to the many who believe in them. People who believe the Earth is flat believe that the moon is the same size as the sun, and that both orbit around the North Pole. People who believe that the Earth is hollow believe that the moon is a hologram, Call these honorable mentions, considering most people understand and accept that the Earth is not flat, nor hollow. Though, there is another theory among the fringe that could hold water, one that is equal parts fascinating and devastating to what modern science thinks about ancient human history. Some believe that our moon is not a natural occurrence at all, but that the moon is in fact an artificial satellite. In his book Who Built the Moon, Christopher Knight presents the theory that the moon is not natural. His theory is supported by his own evidence. He and his co-author, Alan Butler, measured countless aspects of the moon, and according to them, through those measurements, they found a message written in base 10 arithmetic. According to them, they meant that there were aspects of the moon that had uniform ratios of measurement expressed in arithmetic with a base of 10 numbers. These types of measurements are not found anywhere else in the solar system, according to Knight. He believes that the moon was created by extraterrestrials in order to make life on Earth possible, a new definition for intelligent design. Considering how perfect the circumstances had to be on Earth in order for life to evolve as it has, this theory is intriguing. Could the moon be, for all intents and purposes, the results of extraterrestrial tampering? An effort to create an interstellar terrarium of sorts? Or, like some others believe, could it be that it wasn't aliens who created the theoretically artificial moon at all? What if it was actually a source much closer to home? What if an unknown, super-advanced ancient human civilization created the moon? The recent discovery of a 130,000-year-old mammoth skeleton with ancient human stone tools surrounding it suggests that it is possible we are completely wrong about how long humans as we know them have existed on Earth. Some of the oldest known myths in human history, those of the Sumerians, claim that there was indeed a hyper-advanced race that lived alongside humans for some time, helping humans to become what we are today. These beings were said to have come from another planet, which crashed into the Earth. Not unlike the most popular and widely accepted theory on the origin of the moon. Even Greek philosophers like Aristotle wrote of an ancient aboriginal peoples who existed before there was a moon in the sky. So is it possible that these ancient advanced people, if they existed, either created the moon or ended up here when a planetary body, which would have become the moon, crashed into the Earth? It is possible. But it is very unlikely. Though ancient humans were more than likely far more technologically advanced than we previously thought, the construction of a moon is something that likely would have survived into the history books. Aristotle's writings of the ancient people who predated the moon may have been metaphorical, and if they were literal they make no mention of the moon being constructed by humans. Many of these moon creation myths and theories are very far-fetched, but that is probably because the moon is so confusing. Our moon is the only one like it in the known universe. Some of the most intelligent people who have ever lived spent their lives scratching their heads at how unusual our white satellite is. 
The moon has a notoriously strange orbit around the Earth, for instance. It is referred to as synchronal rotation. It takes the same amount of time, roughly 27 days, for the moon to rotate once on its axis as it does for it to orbit the Earth once. That means that on Earth, we only ever see one face of the moon, an oddity by astronomical standards. This has led to an unfathomable amount of conspiracy theories concerning the side of the moon that we aren't able to see, the dark side of the moon. Popular conspiracy theories about the dark side of the moon include many that involve secret military bases, allegedly either the United States, Germany, Russia, a secret global organization, or all of the above have built military bases on the dark side of the moon. This would be convenient for secrecy, considering that the bases would be completely impossible to see from the Earth no matter how sophisticated a telescope one tried to use. However, quite possibly the most popular and prolific conspiracy theory about the moon suggests that it is not humans who colonize the dark side, but extraterrestrials. Countless stories, some well documented even with photographs and videos, seem to suggest that there are strange objects moving across the lunar surface, often disappearing over the moon's edge. Amateur astronomers are often criticized for misrepresenting certain lunar anomalies. It is easy enough to discredit the opinion of someone who pursues astronomy as a hobby, but laymen are not the only people who have noted these strange anomalies and occurrences on the dark side of the moon. Military intelligence officials have claimed that there is more on the dark side of the moon than the general population knows. Carl Wolf, Air Force Tactical Air Command, claimed that data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter proves this, claiming he witnessed artificial structures on the dark side of the moon like antennas, and also other structures which, in his opinion, were absolutely made by intelligent beings. Even the first astronauts to walk the surface of the moon had their own strange experiences with seemingly intelligent beings that could not be explained. Before the Apollo 11 team even reached the lunar surface, they had a brush with something mysterious. According to Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, on their last day of approach to the moon, two of the astronauts saw something out in space that they assumed must have been a stage of one of the Saturn V rockets that had brought them there. However, when they called Houston to confirm that this was the case, they were told that that stage of the rocket had detached hours ago and was now 6,000 miles away from them. Armstrong and the other astronauts calmly speculated to each other as to whether it was a cylinder shape or an L shape, a testament to the mental fortitude of those that we launched toward the nearest rock in space. Now, if you know anything about Buzz Aldrin, then you know that he has a tendency to be very open about the subject of aliens, on the moon and in general. He often weighs in, very confidently, on matters extraterrestrial, whether or not he was directly involved or has the expertise to hold such opinions. This, among other things, including conflicting stories over the years, have led Mr. Aldrin to being generally discredited as a source on such matters. However, the more elusive and reserved Neil Armstrong also expressed his concern at the strange objects observed on the moon. Lieutenant Armstrong was the kind of person to ask what is that, where Aldrin clearly had a penchant for already claiming to know. And yet, both of these astronauts reported seeing something strange on the moon that day in 1969. Is there any reason to doubt the experiences of the Apollo 11 crew? Maybe, especially if you are one of the growing number of people who believe that humans never even went to the moon in the first place. Yes, there are people who absolutely refuse to believe that humans walked on the moon. Some think that the film taken on the moon shows that the lunar dust does not move slowly enough for the footage to be from the moon. Some think that the American flag planted by the astronauts was waving in what clearly was Earth wind. Some think it would have been impossible for the film recorded on the moon to have made it through the Van Allen radiation belt without becoming overexposed. The holes in these theories are apparent. Those who nitpick about moon dust physics rarely give an explanation or breakdown of how they reached the conclusion. Scientists from the Laboratory of Atmospheric Space and Physics of the University of Colorado have run a transparent study in which they state that the movement of the dust is exactly as it should be on the surface of the moon. The people who claim that the earth wind is blowing the flag being planted on the moon are clearly observing the flag waving due to the mechanical force of it being placed on the lunar dust. As for the film being destroyed by the Van Allen belt radiation, this is a misconception. In the SI system, radiation dose is measured in millisieverts, or MSV, which denotes the average accumulated background radiation dose to an individual for one year. The amount of radiation experienced by astronauts in the Van Allen belt was actually less than 50 MSV per year. For comparison, the worst radiation during the Chernobyl incident was about 100 MSV per second, and there were photos taken of that event. 
Their Chernobyl photos indeed had artifacts and high-energy activity in the film, but nonetheless, they were left visible. In order to destroy the film taken on the moon, the astronauts would have had to spend a very long time in the Van Allen belt, which they did not, as they were all aware of the dangers that the radiation posed, not only to the equipment, but also to the crew. Artifacts from the radiation actually can be seen in many photos taken by the Apollo astronauts. Most of the conspiracy theories mentioned here are lacking in consistency and evidence. They could very easily have been created by an overactive imagination and an intent to fool people. However, there is another mystery about the moon, one that is intriguing, awe-inspiring, and which stands completely on its own evidence, towering roughly four miles above the lunar surface. This image depicts an anomaly found on the moon, one which has been discovered by more than one source on more than one occasion. It depicts a structure found on the moon that is referred to as the shard. This image needs very little explanation. When viewed from orbit, it appears to be a tall spire which casts a long shadow. And from the surface of the moon, this is what it looks like. This is a 1967 image from NASA's Lunar Orbiter. The image is slightly blurred as many from the time period are, but in the foreground it clearly shows a tall structure protruding from the surface of the moon. When an image is taken from orbit, there are many explanations for objects that seem to tower above the white dust, usually oddly shaped craters, craters that have other craters inside of them. However, there is very little explanation for a structure like this when the image is taken from the surface of the moon. A little explanation, that is, other than what it looks like. A shard. On the moon. A tower, roughly estimated based on comparison to other lunar landmarks to be four miles high. Eight times taller than the tallest structure found here on Earth. What could this structure possibly be? Is there any natural phenomenon that could have led to its formation? Is it possible that this is a remnant of a civilization that lived on the Mars-sized planetoid that crashed into Earth and eventually became the moon? Or is this, as some would believe, a message to the beings of Earth from those who created the moon? The answers to these questions are unclear, and we may have to wait a great deal of time before NASA, or maybe SpaceX, reveal to us the secrets of the moon. Until then, the moon is, and will remain, one of the great mysteries of our solar system. After all, it orbits the greatest mystery in the entire known universe. Us. Thank you for watching and listening.